What's your law? There's another one. Literally just got here after a three and a half hour drive to Lake Centrins. And this guy really in fish as soon as I rocked up to the beach. I was meant to set up camp, but I'm gonna tie a lure on. See how we go. <laughs> You're All that. And the old Shimano Jewel, my favorite salmon setup. Just gonna chuck a Halco Twisty on. Good old Halco Twisty. Give me a metal lure on your way. Halco Twisty, 40 grand. Let's go, first cast. Make it happen. Letting it sink for like three seconds and then rip it. The silky smooth cast on that, it kills me. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm on. Oh, yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, come off. Came off. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. She's back. Right in front of me. <laughs> First fish of the trip, Sambo. Alco Twisty does the job. Nice small salmon. Not as big as what I usually get. And we love a feed of salmon. We can use them as bait as well. Nah. Good old lakes does the job. As much as what I love, throwing the baits out, chilling on the beach. Nothing beats catching salmon like this. Such an underrated fish. They fight like absolute machines for what they are. I absolutely appreciate these fish so much. They're always good fun. And they always know how to make a bad day into a good day. All right, let's see. Let's see how we go in our lake's entrance adventure for the New Year's, Christmas New Year's period of 2022. I can actually tell straight off the bat, there's a deep gutter right in front of us. Waves aren't breaking right in the middle there, you can see. So they're, bur they're breaking way out there. But there's a gutter running right across the beach here. And it looks like we are bang on slack tide. Slack low tide. Go change directions a bit. Oh. Yep, I'm on. I'm on. A fish are down that way. This one's better than the other one. This is definitely a lot heavier. Oh, let's give us some aerials. Just bring it in with the wave. You don't want to put too much tension on it as it's coming in. And just bring it up with that wave. Nice one. Definitely a better fish. Definitely a lot better fish, that one. Bloody hell, now I have to set up my tent in the bloody dark. What a problem to have, eh? In terms of where we are, honestly, it was just sheer ass. Walk straight off the path. Off the car, yep, we're on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no, nah, he's off. Damn it. I like just letting it sink for a few seconds and then I start just ripping it in. Otherwise it starts, there we go. Yep. Otherwise it just starts skimming along, well it will start skimming along the top of the, um, the water. Like a popper. I don't know if it'll still work, but you want it to sort of be that mid water column as you're bringing it in. All right, we're on to another one here. These definitely aren't huge fish. I've caught my fair share of big, chunky salmon, which fingers crossed we will still do in the next couple of days. 
hit him with this wave. He's trying to get back in. Foul hooked him. That's a perfect bait size. Foul hooked him. Top of his head. Could be bleeding him straight away. But as you know on ads fishing, we tend to get a bit of pandemonium at times. And you just gotta, you gotta rip the fish in and worry about them later. Well, there we go, that's the start, start to our trip. See how we go for the rest of the day. I'll, turn, I'll flick the camera back on if Mel hooks up. But if not, see you soon. after that little session last night just coming towards the peak of the high tide well we'll chuck a thought we'll throw a few lures in for half an hour to an hour see if there's anything around it's moving across this way because with my sunnies i can see a bit of deep water down here Alex giving his new combo a bit of a a bit of a whirl you just get a hit Green's just got a hit Right where the deep water is, I can see it. There's nothing there, but as I've come across, I can see some dark blue water on my sunnies. That's why it's really important to get yourself a good pair of fishing sunnies. And we're on, baby. Just like that. And what I'm doing as I'm casting around is I'm looking to see if there's any dark patches and I can see a few down there but they're a bit too far out just to see if there's any schools around this isn't a big fish but first fish of the day I'll take it and give you with this wave beauty so they're here they're just not in thick schools nice little Aussie salmon If there's more where that one came from, eh? Yep, on again. Haddock, come here. This one's a bit better. Always keep the tension on them. Sometimes it goes a bit loose as it's coming through the waves. You always want to keep the tension on. I think there is a school coming through. That's a better fish. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful little lake entrance Aussie salmon. They do get bigger than that. But I mean, like yeah. Bit of fun on the beach, can't complain. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, look at that! But there is a school of them down there. The water's just black with them. Yalla yalla. Fuck, there was a whole swarm of them. Where are they gone? Where are they gone? So we just missed out on that school. I saw them earlier, a bit further down. And out of nowhere, they came right up, right up onto the, onto the beach. By the time we ran to them, they went back out. We're on. This feels a lot better. Yeah. The fella up the beach just brought in a, a quite a large one. Hopefully this one's a bit better, feels better. Getting with this wave here. Oh, there we go. Beauty. What a beautiful Aussie salmon. Fuck, hey Haddock! There's a massive school here! Yeah, yeah. Go real, it'll hook up straight away. 
Fuck, look at look at Can you see the water's black with it? They're literally right here. Fuck, there's heaps of them. Fuck, they've moved down there, but it's alright. They should still be around. Fuck, there's a patch right in front of us. Yeah, I know. Alright. Make sure if, if you get any slack line, make sure you start reeling it in fast so you don't you don't lose the slack, whatever you do. How does it feel? Did you, did you forget that feeling? Yeah, I did actually. How long has it been? It's been a while for you. Let's not count our eggs before we bring it in. Here it is. First fish of the trip of the summer for Mel. Oh, I don't love. It's not, that's a, it's not really. And that's probably the biggest Aussie salmon we've got so far. Beautiful. You gotta hold your fish now. There we go, there's Mel's fish. First of the trip. School of them just coming through now again. They're just coming in like clowns. And I'll book that. Come on. Safe to say we're having a good feed of Aussie salmon. Fuck the haters. I saw the black cloud right in front of me, like the small one. Did we keep missing the big one? That was a spicy. Nice one. Beautiful. Let's go again for another cast, they're right there. I can still see the school. Go again for another, go for another cast. Fuck, he's demolished that. <laughs> Rip it out. Oh, it's right there, right there. Hey, but he's fucking gobbed it. Look at that, my casting finger. Oh, I made a club or something. Probably brings us to the end of our second little salmon sesh on the beach. Um, yeah, we're probably gonna head off now, have some brekkie. All right, so we're back at the campsite. So had some brekkie. And now we're gonna plan to head down to the middle of Lake Centrance. And what I wanna do is um, head towards where all the docks are, where all the boats are docked, along the pylons and the pontoons. And um, it's gonna flick out some, some lures and see if we can catch some, some brim, some flatties, um, whatever's there really. I'll show you the setups that we're using. So I'm gonna start off with the Z-Man Motorwell Grub, two and a half inch. I'm gonna chuck that on, see how that goes. And I've also got these that I wanna throw around. So I've got Savage Vibe, I've also got this Atomic Bib Lure. Swap those lures around, cast for a couple of hours and see if we get anything. In terms of the gear that we're using, so for the salmon that we caught on the beach, I've got my 2500 Sedona on the dual graphite rod. Four to eight kilo and it's seven foot nine, so it's, I reckon that's perfect length. And I was just using the Halco Twisty for that. In terms of the line, I've got 12 pound Taz line on that. So Taz line, I've mentioned it before, but it's got a lot thinner diameter for the poundage that you get. So you get that nice silky cast from it. And on that, I've just got 12 pound liter as well. That's plenty to do the job. And for the light setup, just like the piers, just got my old, it's pretty much my squid rod, but it's a good soft plastics rod. It's just a savage gear. It's called the Purpose Predator. I love it. And then I've got six pound braid. So that's extremely light. You need a fish light to catch brim. And with that, I'm gonna pair that up with eight pound liter. And that's what I'm gonna chuck these onto. And then what we might do is later in the day, we'll head towards Lake Tyres. And I'll probably use both of those addicts. Opting for the white curly tail grub. Yep, give it the white a go. Why not? Bit of Change it up a bit. Here we go, first little pylon for the day. Well, this is definitely not my forte. I've actually never caught a broom, to be honest. We cast it around for nothing until we lost our patience. So we ditched it and headed to Lake Tyres, where you require even more patience. Lake Tyres, baby. This is the little stream that runs out into the ocean. Found a nice deep pocket here. Cast a few lures in there, see if we get anything. Look at the colour of the water, bro, it's nuts. Bit of a better looking, deeper section here, with less flow. Easier to fish, maybe. Ah, come on. Surely there's flatties hanging around in here. Is that one right there? That's not a flatty, is it? What is that? 
It looks like something black lying in the water. I'm just walking around these flats here out in the middle of, of where the entrance is. There are flatty lays absolutely everywhere. Some big ones as well. Look at the size of some of these sharks. They are absolutely everywhere. Just the thing with lake tyres is, look, I've had some success here before, but it's not somewhere where I do get a lot of success. You have to put in a lot of work and a lot of... It, it's a lot of persistence to be able to actually to actually catch a big flatty. But yeah, look, lake tyres, um, a lot of people come here and, you know, they tell me they, they walk away with nothing. Honestly, that's the way it is most of the time. I've only caught a few flatties here. I've lost the brim. I've never caught a brim and they're, they're a lot more prolific, if anything. But it's not easy. Like, it's people that do well at tyres come here and they put their kayaks or boats in, you know, day after day after day. And, you know, they might catch a few fish by the end of it. So it's not easy, but it is very rewarding in saying that. Finishing off our little adventure with one last little surf session. This time, instead of running around, we just want to relax a bit. So we're going to throw the baits out. I'm not going to do any lure casting today. It's um, it's currently coming to low tide, so I'm not exactly 100% confident. But you can get them on all all parts of the tide. Um, but it's just about relaxing on the beach, getting some sand between the toes. And you know, if you can reel in a couple of fish, that's a bonus. Now in terms of what I do when I'm surf fishing for salmon, I've actually refined my technique quite a bit. I just go a standard pattern offset. Always go a bait hook down the bottom and a popper up the top. With your bait hook, I just go a size four long shank. And I just find that that, that size hook and a long shank works better for me in terms of hook up rate for the salmon. Um, off the beach and I just basically hook up a, a blue bait tail to that and the top one you just leave it as the popper now I will never ever go surf fishing without a popper reason being is one it catches salmon and the other reason is obviously in the surf sometimes the conditions are quite rough and um, the baits can come off quite easily and at least if the baits come off you can rest assured that you know, you've still got something out there that can do the job so with that, I also put on a 5 ounce sinker and I'll start with a 5 ounce but the key is you want to make sure you, go, you can go the lightest you can go for the conditions that you've got. If you find that your lines are starting to move to one side, um, that means it's not heavy enough to go up the side. Alright, so we'll throw this one out. Got a couple of rods here, Moe's down there as well, he's already got his line in. Fella down the beach has caught a fish, so that's a good sign. Not holding that. Bro, it's hot. It smells like it's ass. Right. It smells like ass. Yeah. You on? Teddy, come. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Woo, 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 woo. Well, that's a good one. That's the biggest salmon we've got so far for the trip. On the uh, blue popper? And that's on the popper, there you go. I told you. Blue popper. Beautiful colour. Beautiful salmon. Getting Beautiful a bit bigger salmon. bro. Let's see if we can get some bigger Oh, is there some bait in? Do you want? Our bait session was a lot less productive as we cooked under the sun. So we called it early. Midday, we could still keep going. Got heaps of bait left still, but... I think after two and a half days I'm officially fished out. I want to head back before I get heat struck. Said I was done, but lol jokes. Couldn't help myself. Sunset. Gonna go out and flick the lure out again. See if we can get a last fish before we head back home. Unfortunately, sunset isn't the prime bite time anymore. It was a couple of days ago. Because that peak high tide was falling on this time right now. But at the moment, the peak high tide is coming at about 10 pm. So it might not be a prime bite time. But I'll give it a go until the sun goes down. Why not? Alright, we're on. First one. Probably about 10 casts in. If 
So I get this in, I think I'm gonna be content. I think I can finally say I'm content. I've taken the piss of it, I must admit. He's jumping, he's doing a bit of a show. Got him in the gill, look at that. Right in the gill. And here's laters. I think I'm gonna stock up on gummy bait now. Like I said, it's time to stock up on some gummy bait now. Got a fair bit in the freezer for some food. My lure's gone. So yeah, I just casted my my last lure off, so we're done. It's over. <laughs> Got la one last fish and that was it. Oh Jesus, who knows what could have been in that session. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely Matthew here, yeah? he just, as a Christmas present, Gave me a lure because I just lost one, so I might have to give it another go now. Thanks, Merry man. Christmas, mate. Good luck, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. All right, so Matthew, absolute legend, gave us this little metal lure. He said it's his lucky lure, so it's a Christmas present for me. And um, hopefully, do it, do it some some good and and get and catch something on it. So we'll tie that on and give it another crack. Try my best not to lose this one. There we go. Give that a crack. Cool looking lure. It's got like three hooks it's got the work so hopefully that works <sighs> oh yep yep matthew on your lure <laughs> <laughs> oh yes oh that just makes it sweeter honestly the world is still full of awesome people. Whoa, he's not a bad one as well. They're, jump, they're doing the acrobatics today. <laughs> there we go. Another Aussie salmon on Maddie's lure. You want the fish? You sure? I think Matty deserves that fish. <laughs> They've gotten bigger over the last couple of days. Still not the huge, huge ones. They're not bad. Look at that, both those hooks in the jaw. I like this lure. All right guys, I think that officially brings us to the end of our Lake Central's trip, officially. Boys, listen to this shit. It's fucking hectic, hectic, hectic.